Hey, I'm Dr. Kabiri, and today we're going to go over how to apply a dry amniotic membrane onto a cornea. So we have a gentleman with us today. He's got a significant corneal epithelial defect, and in order to help it heal more quickly, and you know, you might think, well, there are certain topical drops you can use to help uh, quell the inflammation and help with the dryness while he's healing, and that's true. But if somebody's got a history of herpetic keratitis in in, uh, in a recent history of that in the affected eye you might want to be a little bit careful with some of those products. So here's something that in the post-infectious stage is definitely not only safe to use, but it's going to help his cornea heal up beautifully well. So uh, come on close, I can show you what we have. So here, right about where my finger is pointing, you can see our dry amnion here. Uh, we have Wexel sponge, we also have a soft contact lens which will serve in a role as a, as a bandage to kind of keep everything in place for the next few days while the amnion is de degrading on the surface of the eye. So I have as my assistant today, uh, Wex and Wong, SUNY fourth year extern. So he and I are going to do this together. We're going to open this. Uh, you know, you do want to be careful when you open these. Open them slowly. The product is very, very light, and should should a light, even a light breeze catch it, you could lose it. So we say that the side that's that's down in the package uh, stays down on the cornea. Okay, now for those of you who do this already in practice, you might think that, well, you, 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 know, you need forceps, you need a speculum, you need a number of things that aren't shown here. Sometimes when you go near people with forceps and a speculum, they get spooked and you'll never get to, to their, their full cooperation to complete the procedure properly. So without using forceps and a speculum, we have in, in place uh, a Wexel sponge and uh, fingertips. So let's give it a go. We also have our soft contact lens ready to go. Uh, wax, if you don't mind, of course. Okay, so, mira aquí, mi ojo abierto, very good. Okay, so there's there's my speculum, basically. I'm holding his eye open, I'm giving him a target to look at, which is my eye. And as long as he's looking at my eye, I can see if he's in the right position or not. Okay, no mueve, no cierre el ojo. So the graft is already on. The graft is already on. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Now, I'm putting a two-dimensional flat object on a 3D cornea, curved cornea. So of course there's going to be some wrinkles, but as you can see, it's really pretty clear except for the periphery. Go ahead, Wex. Soft contact lens going on. Mira mi ojo abierto. Excelente. Good. I'm just going to help. Go, go ahead a little closer, Wex. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Good. Up again. Mira un poco arriba, señor. Mira arriba. Good. Good. Very good. Mira un poquito más arriba. Good, good. Mira mi dedo. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Okay, so you can see now the soft contact lens and the amnion are in place. Cierre los ojos. Deja los ojos cerrados. Cierre, cierre, cierre. He's going to leave his eyes closed for maybe three to five minutes, and that's going to help. That's going to help everything settle well in place. So we're going to pause and we're going to pick this up in about three minutes and then take a look through the slit lamp and see how everything is well positioned. Okay, so here we are about four minutes later, and you know he's, he's comfortable, he's not, he doesn't have a teary, watery eye or anything, so it's, it's really a very well-tolerated product. Uh, one close, good, chin here, forehead nice and close, and right about here. Good, you know, and while on, on a large scale it seems like there are really few to no wrinkles, you know, certainly through the microscope you can see there are a few wrinkles, but you, you, you expect that, there, has, there, there will be some. But aside from that, it's really quite well centered. And uh, aside from one small air bubble between the contact lens and the uh, peripheral part of the cornea, which is going to clear as the next you know, couple, hour or so goes on, uh, he looks really, really good. So I'm gonna step aside now so you guys can see. You can see it's well centered there. There's a small air bubble around seven or eight o'clock. Uh, aside from that, you know, it's, it's really pretty well centered, really good. Mm -hmm. That is it. That's all there is to it, my friends. So you're going to come back in about two, two to three days. We'll take a look and see how everything looks. We'll take that contact lens off and everything will be great.